Good morning. Saturday morning, um, June 27th. Uh, today we're going to be in, in, in Job 11 through 13, and then um, uh, we're going we're gonna to look at Acts 9 again. And I apologize for doing that the other day, but uh, um, that's, uh, that's uh, again, my, my human side coming out. Um, but anyways, um, as I'm reading this, you know, it, it took me back to um, my life as far as uh, friends. Um, you know, it's, um, you know, it's, it's a different, um, oh, different look at different people in my life who have spoken really good truths and, and, and breathed, um, um, good things into my life. And then I've had other people that had good intentions, uh, but they, you know, they, they were just off on, on their advice and, and their thoughts, you know, as far as, um, encouragement or anything else and that's what we're seeing in scripture today with Job and and Zaphar um, you know here we have 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 Job you know again, struggling through this and Zaphar he was one of these guys who just loved to hear his voice um, and 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 he was I think in in in, in all degrees he was he was well intended you know with um, um, helping Job um, but he was looking at Job as a, a very merit, uh, materialistic kind of uh, thinking. Um, he basically thinks if, you know, all your prosperity, everything was taken away, God's punishing you for that. And that's, that's not the case. Um, I mean, throughout history, and, and, and we know people in our lives that are just, you know, wicked people and evil people, and, um, you know, and they prosper. Um, so, you know, prosperity has very little to do with our relationship with Jesus. Now, he can bless us in those areas, and, and he does quite often. But what we're talking about here, it's, it's Job. Um, you know, he's, he's seeking to um, have, a, have, a, have the right relationship with God. You know, he, he's basically uh, not looking at, at just the temporal, um, you know, uh, things that are going on, but the eternal, you know, what do I need to do, um, you know, to, to get salvation through you, to, to, to be right with you. Um, you know, he wasn't necessarily worried about the prosperity part. Um, but here's, here's Zaphir again. He's, you know, he's, he's kind of, um, pouring salt in the wounds. Okay. You, 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 you lost your, your kids, you lost your, your, your livelihood, um, your animals, uh, livestock, your property, I mean, all these things, you know, just crumbled. And, and, and if, if you were right with God, you would be prospering. And, and, and again, that's not the case. You know, we can't look at, at, at uh, uh, God's judgment against us uh, with materialism because, um, you know, I mean, there's so many people that live in impoverished countries that have such a strong relationship with God because they don't look at that part of it. Um, and... And again, can he bless us with that? Sure, he can. Um, and if we're and if we're, you know, good stewards with it, I believe he, he, um, you know, adds to that. But um, um, but that's not the sole reason why people prosper, uh, is because God just blesses it. Um, again, there's there's wicked people out there that have have um, lots of money and lots of property and lots of different things. So. Um, so Zaphar was, I mean, again, he, he's one of these friends that, that um, you know, just was a, was a blowhart um, and, and wanted to um, get Job to, to, uh, to repent of, of his sins so that he would, he would get his, his, his uh, prosperity back. Um, and, and basically, Zaphar says, if you, if you don't, then you're a hypocrite. You must be a hypocrite because you're not living the right way. Um, but Job, you know, he denounces that and he, he, I mean, he's really, really looking for God's favor um, as far as a, a relationship with him, you know, about eternity, about salvation, uh, repentance and, 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 and the things that, that uh, you know, he needs to do. What is he needs to change in his life in order to, to, to be right with God? You know, that's what he's going through. He's not looking at necessarily how God's punishing him, but but what is it? What am I doing wrong? How am I? How, what do I need to do to change? Um, and and we really see that, you know, and it flows really well into Acts nine with with Paul or Saul, you know, being knocked off the donkey and and and, and being blinded, you know, and, and and being called to follow Jesus. 
um, you know, it's just like Job, we'll see Paul down the road, you know, going through some uh, horrendous things, being in jail, um, but always praising God, worshiping, um, looking at, at uh, you know, what he can do to, to get the word out, to, to share the gospel with people, uh, to be encouraging. You know, Paul wrote letters after letters after letters when he was in jail, uh, even chained to uh, a Roman guard, you know, for, for years. Um, you know, he wrote encouraging letters, uh, just spurring people on in their ministry in, in Thessalonica and in Philippi and in Ephesus and in those kind of areas, you know, that he was just a constant encourager. Um, and again, not looking at, at being, being persecuted and being punished for things that he did wrong, um, but, um, you know, really suffering for Jesus and, and, and realizing that, uh, the big picture here is 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 bigger than the, uh, again the temporal. So just some really really good scripture today um, as far as opening our eyes to uh, materialism, to friends, to relationships, to negativity, um, and in in repentance and 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 one who is looking at at being in favor of God's eyes. Um, you know, uh, making a change, you know, if there's a, a change that needs to be happening, that's what Job's saying. If there's a change here, I want to change. I want to do things better and different than I did before. So um, I just pray you had a great, um, great day reading. Uh, tomorrow we have service at 1030 um, and, and uh, uh, I invite you to come and join us. If you're traveling, if you're out there, uh, service will be live on Facebook at 10:30 also and um and and tonight uh we're actually having a a wedding in the church for um for um um for um ha! for anna and um and 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 clint um hicks um totally lost names for a minute i hope i don't do that during the service tomorrow um but uh good young couple in the community um you know been praying for for them for a while uh, but uh, we want to pray for their marriage and, and God to bless them um, and, 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 and for them to, to really acknowledge that God, God needs to be the center of their, their marriage. Um, and pray for their little one, um, Ada. Uh, you know, she's just a little one. And, and, and there too, this family is going to become one now and, and, and under God's uh, blessing. So be praying for them. Uh, be praying for service tomorrow. And, and, uh, and I'll be praying for you. Uh, have a great day, have a great weekend, and I will see you Sunday morning.